Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Intelucky by Rectorox. Intelucky, noun, the realization of potential. The supposed vital principle that guides the development and functioning of an organism or other system or organization. Or, the soul. Alright, the description just says, easy to medium difficulty puzzle. Bop. Bop it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What are we in for here? Hello, laser. It's already activated, we're gonna have to block it with a cube. And eventually... We're gonna have to eventually Nobel Prize winner it. Got a little... outskirts here. Adorable. Let's go ahead and take that light bridge and use it as our own. There we go. Over here, we have a whole plethora of things. We have a button that disables the fizzler. We have an edgeless safety cube receptacle that is... lowered into the ground. Ha <laughs> What? That's strange. Yeah, I can see now why it's normally raised. Huh. Okay. Uh... You pray tell. Alright, okay. <laughs> for some reason I did not see that ant line. That ant line was not in my mind for a moment there. I was like, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, okay, we have another light bridge. What is this about? I mean, I guess we might be able to fling ourselves? Huh. Alright, well let's, uh, let's take this for now. We'll put it on this button. So which one of these is which, just so I know? Alright, so the one on the right is the edge of the safety cube. Also, does this auto-respawn? It does. Awesome. I'm assuming the other one does too in that case. Alright, so... Now... Ah, we need the funnel to get back. This is deeply concerning. <laughs> That's probably to prevent you from going back with the funnel. Oh, let's not do that just yet. Let's save, and then continue. Thank you. Let's see... Did I even look at what square is? I don't think I did. Let's look real quick, what- what goes to square? Ah, that square. That right here is square. Interesting. So that portal surface will be unusable for us, but this one will be usable. But we need some velocity to make it work? Maybe? Is that how I'm seeing things here? Maybe. Alright, well. We can start by doing this. There we go. So now we've done that. I guess now we want to figure out what to do. Right, so our end goal is to have a cube on that button and the edge of the safety cube here. As soon as the cube goes on that button, it's going to make that inoperable to us. So tell me about this. I wanna know... I wanna know these things in advance. It's also the glass here, interestingly enough. I wonder why. Why would there be a piece of glass there? <laughs> I mean, I know we can maybe... Maybe hover the cube... ...differently? Nothing reverses the funnel, right? I like how I jumped off the piece of glass, I wasn't even really trying to. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I don't think anything reverses the funnel. How would we use this? Might potentially be able to jump into that portal, but wouldn't do us much good. Is it just me, or does that look yellow and the rest is not yellow? What's going on there? Yeah, this is colored differently. Why is it colored differently? That's strange. I have never seen that before. Is it like a warm light or something? Weird. Also, those... the coloration looks strange on that as well. Huh. Alright, whatever. Strange. Okay, well let's just- let's uh, let's just take this cube, please, and uh, put it on this button and see what all changes here. Pretty much everything as expected. And the light bridge is back on, yeah. Entirely sure what to do here. Surely we don't want to drop the ball through the portal to temporarily hit the button and then let the cube fall on the button permanently, right? I don't think that's something we'd want to do. Because the issue is, when we're over here... Come on. When we're over there, and we have a portal here... What is this for? I don't want to understand what any of this is for here. Like, there's no way to get out of here once you're in here. The only way out is to shoot a portal, and there's nothing in here that you can do about that. There's 
no other floor portal surfaces. At all. Just some reflective water and that's it. I don't think the funnel is for anything other than going back. Bob makes me wonder if maybe I really do need to bump the cube or something. How would I set that up, though? Why is the funnel so loud? Jeez. Oh, I know why. It's just because of the buggy sound in this game. You know, this game tries to simulate sound through Portal, but it does it completely wrong. longer than what I just did. So the- like, the ball would have to roll onto it and roll off. And a, sh a short amount of- long enough for the cube to fall through the light bridge, but not so long that the cube doesn't land on the button. I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm gonna start reading comments. Uh, hmm. Get out of the way, hover card.
So, there were unintended solutions, but it's been fixed. Not gonna read any of the spoilers just yet. I'm gonna try a few other things. Yeah, that- that kills you. Pretty much instant death. If I were to walk into this funnel. Although... That's probably why the glass is here, so that you can't set the cube away, and then do this, go through the funnel, and then, you know, move your portals in time. I don't have enough time to do that for sure. Yeah, that's why the glass is here. Could have been closer, though. I don't think that helps at all. Wait, what? What? Uh, I didn't know that was a thing that could happen in this world. Oh, let's 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 uh, I need you guys to see when I do that, and I need to be uh, th over here when I do it. Here, above the button, right? Now, how do I get in the funnel? <laughs> That's crazy, I didn't... I never knew that this was a thing. I mean, I know that the funnel typically doesn't start moving objects in a certain direction until it gets in the center. And I didn't realize that this would be enough to hold up the cube. I feel like I'm onto something here, but how do I get in the funnel now? Even if, like, if I did it this way... If I did it this way, I wouldn't be using that portal surface there. Which makes me think that this is unintended. Can't just jump in, right? 
in on the button. Oh, I, 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 I bopped it. Yeah, there's, there's not... Oh! Hey, look at that! <laughs> this is probably super unintended. But whatever. No matter. <laughs> oh, wow, yes. I think that is definitely unintended. Alright, let's read- let's read some of these spoilers here. Put the cube on the light bridge, right over the button. Put the portal next to the button to get back to the exit. Drop the ball through the laser field? What? Drop the ball through the laser field. Oh, you know what? I bet that's changed. You know, I was trying to figure out how... Let's, let's go back and, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I know. I was trying to do that earlier, but I couldn't see a way to get both portals in both places, but now... I understand what I did wrong here. Let's see. Let's see, we want to put this guy up here. There we go. And the, the trick that I, for some reason, did not think of until just now... ...is to do that. There we go. This is what I wanted to do a long time ago, but I just couldn't... For some reason, I forgot to use the funnel? I thought we were done with the funnel, is the thing. I'm bad with funnels, guys. Did you know that? Did you know I'm bad with funnels? So the bop was a hint, after all. Let's see. Alright. I guess we're just gonna have to- I- I guess this really is execution based then, in that case. Well, that actually worked. Wow, <laughs> that- that's amazing, I can't believe that works. Wow, crazy stuff. Alright, well, we did it both ways. Alright, cool. I'm actually really surprised that works, like, I- I didn't think that the, uh, edgeless safety cube would be on the button for the right amount of time. Alright, cool stuff. Well, guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! Don't forget to check out Rector channel.